Gmail is a popular email service that allows you to send and receive messages, documents, attachments, and other features. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create an account, log in, compose, and send an email, and even manage your inbox in general. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to use Gmail for your personal and professional needs. So without taking much of our time, let's get started. So let's go into an incognito mode so we can try to see how we can create an email. Okay, so once you are on Google, you can come to the top right over here to the Google Apps. Once you click, you'll be able to see all the applications. Okay, Google applications that you have access to, you can see all of them over here. So you have the option to move them across. If you want, you can rearrange them for ease of access. You can move them across and just change the allocation. But for today, we want to look at Gmail. For this tutorial, we want to look at Gmail so we can just easily bring our Gmail to the top. You can see it over here. Once you click on this, it's going to open a Gmail for you. Okay, so because I have my Gmail account open, that's why you see it like this. So if you don't have your account open, it's going to bring you to this very platform. You can either input your email if you have any. If you don't have, you can go ahead and create one. I will show you how to create one. It's easy and it's free of charge. So this is the first method to access Gmail. If you don't want to follow that method, you can come to the browser and just search for gmail.com and it's going to bring you over to the same very platform, this very platform. So you are free to sign in if you have an email if you like i said if you don't have you can come over here and create an account you can create account for personal use for my child or for my business okay so for my work or for my business so let's say i'm going to create one for my personal use okay and over here you have to give in your first name and last name okay and then you can click on next so you specify your birth month okay your date of birth and your gender, for example. And you can specify, you can choose from the available emails, uh, Groshitsa E27 at this, this is all create your own. You have the option to choose from these two. You can go ahead and create your own. I want to create my own because of the nature of business I do. So Rashid.academy at gmail.com. So I can just go ahead and click. And it says it's not available. So rashid.academy1 at gmail.com. Let's see. It says it's available. So you can put in your password. Okay. So I can just go ahead and click on next. And then it's going to ask me to provide a recovery email in case of problem or in case you miss your password. You can recover your email very easily. So let's say I have this email. Uh, let's say next. This is optional. You can skip if you want, and then you can provide phone number. And depending on your country, you can just put in your country and provide the phone number. Okay. You can say next, and you have the option also to skip this if you are interested. Okay. So it's going to review this your account info, and uh, then you can say next, and you can say I agree with the terms and conditions. You can say no thanks to this. You can see right now we've just created a brand new email address from scratch. So whenever you create an email, you will be able to have access to the inbox. This is when everyone's, when you are, when, when they send an email to you, it comes directly into your inbox, except in some cases, it can go into the spam or the about, but most certified or, um, or correct emails, you find them at your email, at your inbox. And then you have these tab item okay if you go through an email and you like a particular one based on importance you can start it and you find it over here so it can be um separated from the others so it, for ease of access and then you can have snoozed anyone you snooze you find it here if you send an email you find it in the sent items okay and then you can see draft drafting is when you start writing an email and you didn't send it it's automatically saved in the draft and then you have more other features like you can mark the email as important and you can start chats if you want to use google chats later i will show you how to do that you can schedule events and different things and then you can check out all your emails in cases when you have multiple gmail accounts you can incorporate all of them and you'll be able to see all the emails that you have 
And sometimes some emails go into spam. If you check your spam regularly, also sometimes you may find uh, very relevant um, emails in the spam as well. Trash, whenever you delete an email, it goes to trash. Okay, so you can recover it or you can delete it permanently. Anything deleted from the trash, it is deleted permanently. After some given time, Google is going to wipe it out. So later we'll see how you can categorize your emails. Um, okay, accordingly, you can categorize them. And uh, then you can manage your labels according to, uh, accordingly. And then you can create labels also if you want. You can create labels where you can classify your emails. So this is where you search for anything within your email. Okay, you can carry out search. You can search for any email that you are looking for within your email uh, email list. And uh, then you can come over here. If anytime you want to send an email, you can come to compose and you can see you have to write the email address of the sender, okay, of the receiver. And then you have to have to write the subject. Why are you sending this message to him? So maybe you can say analysis of results, for example, is a subject. Okay, you can click here. If you want to see BCC and CC, um, you can just click over here. You can see this is BCC. Uh, this is CC. If you want to CC, see the difference between CC and CBCC is if you are sending an email, okay, and you have multiple other emails, like five other email addresses. If you send them, uh, you want to send the same analysis of result, copy maybe two of the editors or two of the directors within your company. Uh, for example, I can say, comma, and they can have, for example, you are sending uh, the email to all of this. So the difference is that when you CC them, this particular receiver is going to see these two guys that they have received a call message. But when you copy this and, and cut, and then you use BCC, uh, this message is going to go to this, this receiver, but he will not see that. He will not see that they've been copied to these guys. He will not be able to see that. So that's the difference between CC and BCC. So let's say we're using BCC and then we'll write the email. So let's say, Hello, and find attached the analysis of results for the project. Thank you. So now we've just written, written a simple uh, email and we can send it directly by just clicking on send and we'll send it or we can click on this small arrow to schedule it for another time. If you don't want to send the email now, you can send it later. It. You can send it tomorrow, next tomorrow, however you want it. And you can play around with the font style from here. You can play around with all the, of these features, like you can change the font style. You can um, change the sizing. Okay, you can make it huge. You can make the text huge as soon as you select. You can change it to make it large. Or you can bold. You can italize. You can underline. You can change the coloration accordingly. You can change the color uh, accordingly. And then you can change the alignment. You can align left, right, center. You can do all that. And you can add in bullets. Okay. In cases when you have some list items, you can add bullets. Or you can change the uh, the indenting. You can increase spacing for the indents. Okay. Or the about. And you can see um, you can add quotation or you can add strikes through also through your text. It's very easy. And then down here, you have the option to attach files. With this, you can just click and attach a file. Assuming this is the analysis you are you are you are looking out for. Okay, so let's say this Google Workspace training. I can just select and click on OK. This is the document I want to send to him. So you can see it's been added into our email. Okay. So you can add multiple if you want to add more. And then you can remove by just closing on this, this uh, star icon. Once you click, you are going to remove that. And then you can come over here if you want to add a link. Maybe there's a link you want him to refer to. Okay, for example, you can just come down here and say Epic Mentorship. For example, I want him to refer to this. Um, let's remove this coloration of the background. So I assume I want him, if he comes to this, uh, within this email, I want to attach a link. I can just click here. And I can just attach a web address, for example, uh, google.com. So I can just see uh, and attach to this. So anytime he clicks on this, it's going to take him to Google or to this website accordingly. And then you can have um, emojis, different types of emojis. You can see them of different types. You can attach them to your email. 
and they need they send in meanings depending on the type of email you are sending you can personalize it you can make it fun you can create it with some emojis to make the email sound natural and friendly okay so and then you can connect items from drive for example if you have some items that you stored in your google drive you can easily collect them or connect them with this particular account and you can send or receive your uh, you can send the the documents to the set to the receiver okay and then down here you can add insert photos if you have any photo within the google photos or within your albums or you can upload from a url if you have a url so very easily you can upload so the next is you can trouble the confidential mode to enable this email that this is a confidential email so nobody can have access to it and then you can enable the use of signature if you have a signature attached i will show you uh, how to attach a signature and send to your email so once you write and you are comfortable with what you've written and you like what you saw you want to just send it directly all you need to do is just to to come down here and just click on send and you'll be able to send this to the, the, the person okay so you can see now you have sent the email if the person well, the, at the receiving end can check his um, phone or can check his email he's going to receive it and this message you have sent to find it at the sent item over here. So this is the uh, email that you have just sent. So alternatively, we may want to look at the settings. From Gmail, you have the option to access the other Google features. Like you can see some of them here. We have the Google Keep, we have Google Tasks, we have Google Contact and so on. And you can add apps also to be able to visualize them from here. And then you can check out on settings if you want to play around with some very basic things. For example, the default right now, um, you can have the default density is, uh, is set to this. If you want, you can make it comfortable to change the looks or compact to change the looks also. These are just different views. So you can check out the different themes. If you want to change themes, you can click over here to customize the theme. Okay. So right now you can see there are different themes. If you want, you can just select any. And once you click on save, it's going to take that theme. You can see you just check, change the theme and you can see well, the emails, you can check the inbox. You can check the other features also directly. So all is from this tab, you can check. And I think I prefer it at the default one, the plain one, which is white. But you can go ahead and change the inbox type. You can change it from this one, the default to important first however you want it if you want the inbox to be rearranged to contain important documents first or messages that you've marked as important you you can just just one click arrange them like that or, or read first you can see or start first or priority inbox you can change all this accordingly and then you can change the reading mode also down here but then um the, this is the general settings that once you come over here and click on it you will have access to all the general settings over here you can change from the language to the phone numbers you can attach phone numbers uh, your country code as well as maximum size for a particular page in the email you can change all this default reply mode is it reply or reply to all you can change all this you can hover, check enable hover action or send and receive archive. You can um, temper with all that from here. Then default text style, you can make it default. Like the previously we've changed how to, we've changed the style, the sizing, as well as the coloration. You can make default from here. Okay, images, you can say always display external images um, within the email. If you want, you can enable all that. Then enable e dynamic email, grammar, spelling, autocorrect. You can enable all this or disable as you so wish. So these are some very basic corrections. Smart compose, you can write suggestions through the email and you can have smart compose and personalizations as well. Nudges, uh, smart reply, you can enable all this or disable accordingly. But one of the most important ones is the stars over here. So if you want to categorize them, you can see different kind of stars. The one that is in use currently, if you start a document, is going to show this yellow side. If you want the other signs, you can just drag and drop. So you can start an email according to importance. So if you click on this blue sign, you can mean something. This email is office related. Or if you click on this yellow sign, it means it is house, home or personal related. Or this one is office related or business related directly. Okay. So you can categorize them accordingly. When you have keyboard shortcuts, you can enable them or disable from here. Uh, bottom levels, button levels, you can enable or disable. 
you can add in your picture to your email from here okay so you can be able to appear much more professionals uh, professional and then you can add signature signature is important um you can just add the signature name the signature name just signifies are you this is this for e office or for business for example this is office so i can say abu zaria for example this is the university i work so i can say abu zaria and then this becomes the signature so you define how you want it so for example at the end of the email i wanted to take in this so yes abdul sheet and then i put my affiliation and then at the end you can see i put my phone number okay so it's very easy once you have this you can create multiple email signatures depending so this is for my um for my university i can create one for my business for example i can say for epic mentorship i can create one then i can go ahead and give the same details however i want to customize it and you have access to all of these text editing features like if you have select you can play around with the texts font style you can bold you can utilize you can underline you can add in coloration to it or attach your photos accordingly within the email signature all right and down here you have you can signify set in the default which one do you want to be default is it the ab one or you want it to be no signature as default or you can select between the ones that you have and make one the default email and then down here you can enable the vacation responder in cases if you're traveling maybe you're going on vacation you want to set an auto response to your email you can just go ahead and give in a subject uh, i'm out and uh, then you can um, put in the content however you want it so this now becomes the default um, email that your respondents anybody that sends an email to your box inbox is going to automatically receive this reply once you specify the dates that you're going to be out for example the first day i can make it today 13th of september and then the last day maybe i'm going to um, go for one week or two weeks for example one week let's say i'll be back on the 20th so within this specified period whoever sent you an email is going to receive an auto respond because now we're starting today so i'm out on vacation you can see that the level is now showing that i'm on vacation and i'm going to come back uh, after some time so once you send an email address to my inbox this auto response is generally going to come to your email you're just going to receive an auto reply and that is going to be the content of the email so once you're back from the vacation you can just say end now and then everything now ends so whoever sends an email you're going to receive it directly so these are some very basic things that you can enable or disable and as soon as you're done you can save all this and you see that everything is being saved if you have your if you have the time you can go ahead and check out the levels the inbox and see accounts and import information and settings filters and blocked addresses you can add or remove um, addresses you can block email addresses in cases when you receive spam, spam emails or disturbing emails so you can block people from here and then you can check out forwardings add-ons uh, chat and meet however you want you can check out all these features but the general uh, settings are the most important at this point for you to get used to the email system so this is your inbox and uh, by default we have designed it to work per, uh, per function like this we have important e or, or read first and then uh, start the messages first um, we've changed it if you want you can take it back to the normal and then we will be able to see um, our email low and you 